True. So who are we going to see him, see him against next? I mean, Dana had stepped out there before the fight and said it was going to be Colby Covington. Is that the next fight for Kamaru? No, listen. Kamaru in the last 10 months fought three times. Mm-hmm. Kobe in the last three years fought three times. When, after Kamaru destroyed his jaw and disfigured his face, Kamaru went and fought three times defend against very tough opponents. He went and fought Woodley. Guy is not even in the UFC anymore. He was four years old and beat him. Maybe Kobe Covington go for business. Who cares? Right? Kiesa, four fight winning streak. Vasanti Lucas, three fight winning streak. Leon Edward, nine fight winning streak. Why Kobe Covington is so special? What about Kamaru? If Marvin Vittori meet Israel Adesanya, why not Kamaru can go up and fight Marvin Vittori for the middleweight title? Right? Mm-hmm. Listen. Kamaru earned every right to do whatever he wants right now. But we're respectful to, to, to Dana and his wishes. And we we're going to work together regardless. We'll make it happen. Kamaru called me yesterday. He said, June 12th, let's throw Michael Kessabon. He asked me who have the longest winning streak in the division. I said, not tough five or six. I said, yes. He said, June 12th, we'll be on me. We also got to fight doesn't have a fight. I said, Michael Kiesa. And it doesn't really matter who. I said, Michael Kiesa. I said, let's throw Michael Kiesa bone. Ask the UFC if I can find June 12. I told the UFC, he want to fight. Listen to me. Kamaru can fight three times more this year. You know, the Ranzo Fatih and Dana White told me something a little bit ago. I said, the only way to stay relevant, to fight often. Kamaru is the guy. You know, why Kobe? Why I'm going to put Kobe in the spot? Why, why not Michael Kiesa, right? You know? You know, and Michael Kessa, he can't take Kamaru down. He can't lay and pray on him. Stylistically, it's a good fight, right? You know, I think Kamaru, not 10 times out of 10, will beat him. I love Michael Kessa, but why? I will not give him an opportunity, right? But I'm not the promoter. I'm not Dana White. That's not, but I'm talking about scenarios. Hmm. So you're telling me that Kamaru wants to fight on June 12th. And you know, <laughs> June 12th, 100%. Is a chance of that happening, though? You see me a contract. June 12th, Kamaru Osman will fight Michael Kiss. Wow. Wow. It, 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 or whoever on a winning streak. That, you know, it can be Vasanti Luke. But I don't want to say that because he's my guy, because people say we try to do it because you can. No, but Michael Kiss have the longest winning streak. He deserve it. Well, how you does know? this work, though, uh, Ali? Because uh, you have said that uh, Dana is the promoter. And if he says that Colby is the guy, which he has said, how are you going to go back to him and say Colby's not the guy? If he's the guy that they want Kamaru to fight, how are you going to say no? They know why I respect Kamaru Usman. Let's, let's, let's get this clear. They respect each other. They have a beautiful relationship. You understand? They have a great relationship. One thing about Dana, people doesn't know. Dana is not just a tyrant who run over people. Oh, you have to do this. No, he's very, you can talk to them. They know why told me Kamaru Usman knocked knock out her hey Masvidal. He become a different level. You see Stephen A. Smith. Mark Callum, uh, like, like so many big media talking about him, right? But guess what? Kamaro's man went, sat for 24 hours at home, and he said, I need to fight. I love him.